Hendrick at the same time. This routine is actually gifted. I've checked and I've asked his permission from Jay Sankey. And he said, Lou, go right ahead. Here it goes. You're going to need a wide Sharpie marker. These are the wide ones you find one or two in a package. You'll also need some Avery stickers. In the original routine from Jay Sankey, he uses uh, a borrowed cigarette lighter, which is flat on both sides, and smaller Avery stickers, about half the size. With these new wide markers that you'll carry around, you'll actually use full-size markers, which plays bigger. Uh, the connection being is that with him with a borrowed cigarette lighter and doing the routine, it's the fact that there's a connection by, by holding something that's a personal to someone out there. With this, it's just a convenience factor. And it's your marker. Do whatever you'd like. Using the Avery stickers, you'll place one on either side of the cap. You'll also have to make sure you cut off the clip that comes on the caps. So when you slice off the, the clip, and if it's rough on one side, feel free, of course, to rough up the other side so that way they match. And you'll place two Avery stickers, one on either side. When this is done, you'll just need some playing cards and you're good to go. These things you always have with you. And as you're doing strolling, nothing like a little bit of mentalism. First thing is, someone thinks of a card or selects a card which you have forced. I'll do a peek. I like to uh, let them know that they can have any free choice and I call the card. I call the peaked up card underneath the bot to the bottom. This way everything is smooth and squared up. Maybe even a little bit of a shuffle keeping the bottom card on the bottom. And then when you put the cards away that's when you peek at the card. Don't forget the card. No paper needed. It's already here. You're going to write on these Avery stickers. Use the paddle move even though you don't need to. It's a great way of practicing. Uncap the marker, keeping the, the, the end of the cap upwards like this so it works out in the routine. And have them think of their card. You know, I'm not getting anything. Now, meantime, I know it's the Six of Diamonds, so I know this. But I go, not to, don't write anything. Just, you know what, let me get back to you in a moment. Let me see. How about somebody else? Can you think of, let me do something different. How about a two-digit number? Give me a two-digit number. And they're thinking, I'm sorry, don't tell me. Just think of it. And now I'm getting something. You can even say, is it between 30, by any chance, is it 30 through 80? It is. Do a little bit of uh, fishing if you'd like to. In the meantime, all you're going to do is not write down the number, because you have no idea what it is, but you'll write down the playing card that was forced or peaked at from the first volunteer. And that's a six of diamonds. I believe I've got your number. Now I'm going to give you a souvenir and also you'll get a souvenir too. You, both of you will. So let me write your number down. I've already written my prediction. What was the number you were thinking of? And they say any number they want to. And I'm looking at the timer here and it says 45. And I'm smiling. Try to make it look as neat as possible. Cap the marker because you're done writing and say not only did, uh, yes, you came up with this number, it was just in your mind, but that's your number. The number that I wrote, the same number, 45. And this works. I've done this several times and people are just absolutely believe that that was the number that you wrote down the other side of the marker. They don't even think of the paddle move. They don't even know what it is. But now instantly go to the first person saying, you know what, that playing card, you still have it, right? I'm getting a stronger connection. Wait, hold your hand out. Now you're going to do magic. You're going to take the marker, put it in, number side up. When they close their hand over it, now the playing card is up this side. And for the first time they name their card, they say six of diamonds. And when they open up and they see that their card they were just thinking of 
has materialized on one of the stickers, that just really flips them out. And now you have two people both impressed with your abilities. One as a magician and one as a mentalist. And these are removable stickers. Don't use the permanent, use the removable. So that way they can be stuck on their back of their phones and they can keep it as a souvenir. See you next time.